Red Berenson's hockey team touched down on schedule in Green Bay Wednesday night. The Wolverines practice at Yost Arena before traveling to their NCAA Midwest Regional site. Since it's an NCAA event, Michigan doesn't handle all of its own travel details. So a little bit of patience was needed when the team's bus arrived a little late. It's a little bit different because you just have to work a little bit harder. You have a kind of a middleman, uh, but the university has been great for us. Um, you know, they, they'll, they'll pay for the additional cost for a charter flight instead of going commercial, which, which really affords us to, to travel the way that we need to, to travel. We're as close uh, to a professional team as possible, and that's the way that coaches kind of uh, set the system up, and we just follow, and that's proven to be very successful. After unloading the plane and packing the bus, it was off to the rink to unpack. The players each handled their own lockers, while equipment manager Ian Hume and staff took care of the rest. We got 28 um, player bags. Uh, we got 25 players, and the goalies each get two. We've got um, three big trunks, one medical, one equipment, one video. Um, We've got a junk bag that we pack a lot of towels and stretching cords and soccer balls and coaches' shoes in that we call the junk bag. And then we've got other little bags that, you know, that we need, jerseys and socks. And there's not too much that's going to get thrown at us that we can't handle. It's a lot of work, but it's nothing like it was when Hume first went to work for Red Berenson in 1990. The good old days we used to... Uh, in the NCAA tournament, if, if we had to, we would truck the equipment. So if it was 12 hours to drive, it was 12 hours to drive. And uh, those, were some, uh, those were some hairy days. So much is being made of Michigan's 22-year NCAA tournament streak. Hume's first season is when that streak began. I don't think I have anything to do with it, but, um, you know, I think it's a combination of um, we've had really good players, we've had good coaches, we've been lucky, um, but I don't think it really has anything to do with me. I guess Ian has the Midas touch. Uh, he's the one that helped turn it around along with some of the, uh, the guys that, uh, his class that came in. Uh, the players, uh, you know, uh, I think it was David uh, Roberts and Harlock and, or actually it was a Wiseman, Wiseman Shields, Oliver, Stuart Ward. Uh, those were the guys that really started to turn things around. I know the affection that you have towards most of these kids. Right. And these kids have towards you. Correct. They don't rub your head or do anything, the fact that 22 straight years? No, it's, I, I think it's just, it's, it's Michigan. And, you know, it's, we, have, we have tradition in hockey and we have a tradition of excellence. And we expect we're going to get to the tournament every year. And so, you know, this isn't a big surprise that we're here. Um, that's our goal at the start of the year is to get to the tournament. And, you know, we got to win two games and we get to the Frozen Four. Do you remember when the streak started? Where were you? What do you remember? Geez, I was in high school at the time, uh, working at a ice rink as a Zamboni driver. I know there's some teams around the country that I know Notre Dame told us that, you know, th this streak and, and the CCHA streak, it's, it's just mind-boggling that you could be to the Final Four at Joe Lewis, 22 years in a row and in the NCAA tournament 20 you guys never take a week off or a day off so you need a vacation no I'm good I'll be good till the season's over the Wolverines practice Thursday afternoon as they prepare for Cornell in the opening round of the NCAA tournament Friday night stay with our special coverage of Michigan hockey all week right here on mgoblue.com